Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of the Dope Sports Podcast Brought to you by Dope Content and DopeContent.com This is your boy K. Lou here, we are live here I see my Noti gang is slowly filing in I see Cash on YouTube, Rob, d Web. I see y'all coming through here, man Hey, look, d Web say let's go TCU I forgot d Web. you are Fort Worth, huh? There you go, so um it's a special it's a special episode of the dope sports podcast man we got two special guests here and it's it's my honor to talk to these guys to be honest with you and huge shout out to my guy cash for setting this up for you boy man cash is like a big brother to me man been rocking with cash for years for years man so shout out to cash and shout out to these two guys man that's coming through rob said w cash facts man so shout out to my guy cash man it's always love with that guy man so if you're on youtube i need you to like the video i need you to leave your comments if you're on twitch i need you to leave your comments as well it will pop up on the screen if you got questions for these guys hey this your chance to get them out the way man so we go bring these guys in represent tcu two starters on the defensive side man we got Starting cornerback Josh Newton, and we got starting linebacker Jamoe Hodge, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if the cameras are ready before I bring them in. I want to make sure they good. Yeah, let's let's bring them on in here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, guys. Yo, yo. Good. <laughs> King said we outside. Yeah, man. We trying to get out there, man. So before we get started, man, how you how you guys doing, man? How your day going? How your week going? How everything you feeling? I'm blessed, man. Everything blessing to me. That's how I look at everything. That's what's up, man. Jamoy, what you got? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. And just like y'all said, I'm very blessed to be in the situation we're in today. Yes, sir, man. Once again, I said it off stream a couple of times in the text and everything, but it's a huge honor to talk to you guys, man. I really appreciate you guys hopping on with me ahead of your big 12 championship game this saturday man so i know i'm not espn or none of that yet but we are growing so i definitely appreciate you guys hopping on man uh, for the brand so uh it's a lot to get into but we're not gonna you know we're not gonna hold you long i do want to start off with because it's a question that's always been on my mind with you guys with football players college football players how is campus life do they treat you like your stars do or you just a normal student walking around, especially when you're winning. Let me ask you that. How's it when you're winning? I mean, it depends on first of all, it depends on like see off campus players, we can probably not experience it. We have like we be at our crib and stuff like that. But yeah. if we live on campus, it's more like, yeah, we gonna feel the love because that's why all the spirit that anyway. Like it, it's always something going around campus, but off campus people, we never really catch it because we tired for practice or like yeah. once we go home or unless we got treatment or something like we ain't really coming back over there okay. until the next day yeah so it's kind of like uh, with the like freshman sophomore and some juniors that just stay on campus still like they'll, they'll see that more than the off campus player okay so when you're on campus is it still hell because you say you're barely on there but when you do go is it still like hey we got the superstars here we need to is that how they do you guys on campus nah, it's, when more like, it's more like it. like our coaches that they'll be they approach everything like business like this supposed to be going on like this what everybody here for like like it ain't no ain't no like like it's more like trying to build a dynasty you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, okay. Like it ain't even no just we looked up on it. Now nah, we seen real results put in behind real work. Okay. So, so uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. No, nah, it's straight. It's just more like a way more of a business approach to everything. Like everybody on their toes. Like everybody can say something to each other. Like it ain't no. You feel me? It's not no no pride or nothing like that. That's why we've been able to play so, you know what I'm saying, collectively, like, just all around. Because ain't nobody – well, still, if we're going back, because we didn't been in some ball game when we were down. Yeah. Like, nobody flinched. Okay. 
So speaking of your coach, man, first first year head coach Sonny Dykes coming in and just turning this team around completely. Last year you guys were five and seven, three and six in conference play, and now you're undefeated in the Big Twelve Championship, top four in the NCAA playoffs right now. How did this happen so fast? People didn't people didn't pick you guys to do what you're doing right now. So what's the difference? What was the big difference? I say compared to uh, last year, the work ethic that people okay. put in. Because last year when I played, it was a whole. It's pretty much the same team that we got this year. We only had two grad transfers that that transferred in from Memphis, and then one senior left. So we had three seniors on the team. So it pretty much show you everybody came back, and it was just the, all the work we put in. We showed the practice we had to work. Like y'all said, it's a business. Everybody know yeah. why we're here. Cash said so he the coach of the year. He's a hey, man. He's definitely putting in the work because that's that was a quick turnaround. And so speaking of the media, even to this day, you have the ESPNs and guys from that and Fox Sports. They're not taking you guys seriously, man. So what do you have to say to those guys right now? Dude, I, we don't even, I don't even listen to them. I don't even watch them. Don't <laughs> to them. We just worry about ourselves. Okay. We just laugh on what we doing. So we just worry about ourselves, just like how we be doing day one. We just believe in ourselves. We don't care what nobody hey, we, we feel like we win it all. So yeah, yes. keep going. I'm definitely pulling for y'all, man. So as you see on the bottom of the screen, TCU is taking on Kansas State in a rematch for the Big Twelve Championship here in Dallas, Texas. And it's an early start. It's 11 a.m. here in Dallas. So let me ask you this. Do you guys like the earliest start? What is your favorite time to play? In the morning. Really? Because that's how we practice. We practice in the morning. So like, we fought, like, we already training it without training. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Jamal, is the same for you? You like the mornings yeah. too? Yeah, I like the same morning. Go ahead, wake up, get it get it over with and then also have a day to really chill go back to the crib kick back and watch some other football games yeah okay and then like you were you were cover better like and with the early game too though because like you playing like after well, i want to say three o'clock yeah. you play at seven like your recovery ain't gonna be as you know what i'm saying like, Fresh going into the the week versus you playing the eleven o'clock game. Mm. Okay, so, so yeah. um, out of all the games you had this year, do you guys have a favorite game so far? Nah, uh, we didn't have too many good games for me. <laughs> too many good games. Right? Well, I ain't really. Like I, I be biased, but I say everyone. Uh, what about favorite moment, game moments? They had two minutes. It's just, it's, it's like we we beat Oklahoma State in overtime. Yeah, we beat, we beat uh we came back on Kansas making big plays. Yeah. Then we beat Baylor in the last couple of seconds. So it was like we, yeah. it, then we sh we almost shut out Texas. We so it's like with a lot of games. Is, yeah, I, I, all of them been good. So. Okay, I mean, hey, I, I can't blame you. I agree. I've been watching. You guys have been doing work this year, man. So it's hard to disagree with what you're saying. So now, as college football players, what is it like during the week? Do you have free time to, you know, maybe like, you know, play a couple of video games here every now and then, or go to the studio? I know Jamal. I know uh, Jamal. He's a music producer. How much free time do you really have? Nah. Yeah, and I usually don't. I ain't even made a beat about like a month and a half. For real, for real, I ain't been cooking up almost okay. two months. For real, for real, two months. The whole season, I ain't been making beats. I just been locked in. But like, you don't really you have time. But see, all during the week, yeah. See, I got night classes and stuff too most yeah. of the day in the week. So I'm a, I'm a grad. My class is okay. all right. I don't so know. I don't gotta go to no class. Go on campus for no class. No ah oh, man, yeah, you doing it? I like that. And you ain't gotta go nowhere for none of that. You you chilling? <laughs> you play football and you chilling basically. Yeah. Just keeping my grades up, bro. So I get that master's. 
look, I got Miss Dope on here talking about all y'all running around like Spence on All American. You know, I don't know if y'all seen that show where uh, the guy named is Spencer. He's running all. He's in everybody's business. It's nothing but drama. You know how the TV shows do with these sports. I don't know if y'all seen that show or not, but uh, it's 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 crazy, man. So let's get to know these guys, man. Um, they say they don't have too much free time for like the video games and things like that. Um, let's get let's listen. What type of music are y'all listening to? What are your top three rappers right now? Uh, for me, top three. Hmm. I can't give you a top three. I give you probably top five or something like that. Let's do top five. Uh, I'm gonna go. See, one that one spot be kind of like one A, one B. Yeah. Okay. But little baby, little baby future. Uh, gun. Mm. Young boy, and, uh, my fifth one. I had to say probably like somebody like Money Bad Yo. Hmm. Okay, Jamoy, who you got on your list? Uh, I ain't gonna say an order because I ain't, but I just. Uh, like you said, I got Future, Lil Baby. Uh, a lot of people sleep on No Cap. I like No Cap hard. Um, especially yeah, Gunna. Of course, Dirk, Dirk up there too. Oh, Dirk hard. Okay. <laughs> Rob said No Cap is goaded. So Rob is a No Cap fan over here in the chat. I see you, Rob. Nah, he hard. Yeah, no cap hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't I name you a no cap song right, right now. <laughs> you said you listen to a little who? I listen to a little G Herbal. Only like only like a handful of songs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um Nah, cause I just seen bro say uh hopefully her make the list. Oh yeah, yeah. He said he I see him. Rob over here in the comments says, shout out to Rob, man. Rob is always coming through. He's always on the YouTube. He's always on the Twitch. So shout out to Rob. Shout out, Rob. Um, yeah, he's also the weekly winner for this past week, week 13, I believe, or week 12 of the NFL. So I owe him an Amazon gift card for making his predictions right and out predicting us. Uh, and Rob has a question for you guys, actually. He asked, when did you guys get your first offer? And who was it from? Let me add that. Who was it from? My first offer was my old school that I just transferred from. That was like end of my senior year of high school. I only had one offer. Okay. And I was uh, I was a receiver there. Ooh. It's, that's crazy. You was a receiver. And this year, you are first team all Big 12 defense. I, well, I said it wrong. All Big 12 first team defense. So, shout out to you for that. Appreciate and that. That's, that's huge, man. Shout out to him. So, who was your first offer, Jamoy? Uh, Wingate is the D2 school. And I ain't get my first D1 offer until I went Juca. So I, I left high school only. Two offers, one a Wingate D two school, then another D two school, uh, uh, UVA wise. Okay, so on the field, you both are considered juniors on the field as far as field play. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I don't know if you, I kind of talked to Josh about it off stream, but Jamal, I asked you, you had any plans on what's next for you? Are you doing another year? You haven't thought about it yet. You doing? You thinking about the draft? How, how's it looking for you? Sure, I'm just worrying about this uh, game by game. This game, I ain't even really been thinking about that stuff. That stuff gonna come. You know, yeah, I'm exactly. just gonna be I know what you need to handle. That stuff in it, man. Do game. you even feed that, bro? Let's so, see. yeah. See, I like that, man. Like, I could tell. That you guys are straightforward. You got your heads on right. You're not thinking too 
far in the future you're just taking it for what it is right now you're going to make sure you do your thing right now which again you see at the bottom of the screen they are taking on kansas state in the big 12 championship live on abc this saturday morning 11 o'clock central time noon eastern time come check these boys out number six number 24 these guys been balling all season man i tried to do a highlight reel and ncaa was like nah you can't put it on youtube so i just kind of made what i made earlier because uh youtube wasn't having it ncaa and youtube wasn't having it i normally do a highlight reel for everybody that come on ncaa was like no sir <laughs> so um and i do have an announcement man i want to go ahead and make why i have these guys here i feel like this is the perfect time to do the announcement and let's go ahead and play it right now you guys might not be able to hear it because you're on your phone but uh, everybody watching let's take a look at this announcement Sir, that's right. 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. For those who don't know, the goal on YouTube was 1,500 by January. And we wiped that out in November. So we upped it to 2,000 by January. It's not even, it's what, December 1st? And we're already at 2,000. So now we're about to up it again to 2,500 to see if we could do that. And, you know, shows like this is the reason you know we're we're getting this this action here man so once again i appreciate you guys hopping on as we continue to grow we are still at 6100 on twitch right now right now i know we competing with thursday night football which i did not think about i did not think about but uh yeah a lot of people are watching buffalo and the and the pages right now on twitch i got a couple of streamers who do watch alongs on twitch so i know a lot of my people are over there because we like to share out you know share the community like that um shout out to get the tables for the sub as well d web said let's go congrats my guy so um do you guys really get to chill on sundays and watch nfl games nah we be at the school mm. i get there about like 11 well and they're all day it's about like six o'clock so yeah. do you ha do you have a favorite team? Eagles. Oh God, man! I've been an Eagles fan for so the Oh man, why he doing this to us, y'all? Why is he doing this to us? He an Eagles fan, man. Why is he doing this? Um, <laughs> this dope say, oh, he cook what he cooking. So I don't know if he can hear me. His camera off, but um, Josh, if you can hear me, they want to know what you cooking in there and who taught you. Oh, it's grilled chicken. Really, bro? Just uh, watching my aunties and uncles. You learn a lot from two eyes and one mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's what's up, so, man. But yeah, you really pay attention, bro. And half of cooking is really just seasoning. For real, for real. That's facts. That's facts. And just make and sure it's done. Cook yep. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So it ain't hard. So for all you non cookers out there, man, get it together, man. Y'all, yeah. especially when it comes to like chicken and stuff, all you gotta do is season the right chicken and beef. You be good to go. So we not gonna hold these guys too much longer, man. Cause especially now you got, you know, Josh, I want him to be able to enjoy his dinner and things like that. So do you have any favorite NBA teams that you wanna? Nah, I'm a Lakers fan, but I'm not a LeBron fan. I was a Kobe fan. Ooh. Yeah, so def definitely a bean fan like i don't like how he just approached everything like this on a deep level yeah so let me ask you this. i'm glad you said that um because i'm a kobe fan too but i'm not one of those kobe fans that don't like lebron what is I'm, the deal with kobe I fans not not like LeBron. LeBron. i mean i like lebron but i don't want to be like i'm a LeBron him to kobe fan because like. everybody that's lebron fan you know they be LeBron is LeBron that like LeBron a great player don't get me wrong but I'm yeah. not one that go around talking about LeBron the greatest of all time I'm not that so that's why I was saying that like, I was a Kobe fan because usually if I'm a Lakers fan most people think 
oh, he transferred because he a LeBron fan. LeBron, like, nah, yeah. Been a, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, who is this? Rob. Rob said, who is the hardest player to stop so far? I don't even, I can't even answer that. <laughs> I mean, you stopped hey. everybody, so like, hey. There you go. <laughs> they, I was about to say, they say they've been shutting everybody out, so it don't even matter. Um, yeah. But you haven't came across a running back or anything you had to do extra scouting on at all? A wide yeah. receiver? I just do the same thing I do each week. All right. Do you guys still get nervous before games? Once you get that first hit, you straight. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, the crowd atmosphere between a primetime game and an early game, does anything change for you? Nah, I really don't even like pay attention to the fans. I mean, sometimes I like look around like I really be out there time. blacked out for real. Yeah. I hear, but it's like I don't hear it to where it's like controlling me. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. So yeah, I could tell Coach Honey Dykes, man, he got you guys like focused, focused. And honestly, I am pulling for you guys because again, you got the media out here sleeping. They're sleeping. They don't That's think cool. they don't think TCU can you know keep up with the the other top three and I, it would be nice to see you guys do that especially this quick turnaround that you had like that'll be amazing to see you go from five and seven to national championship just like that i'm real confident in you guys winning the big 12 i already predict you on my other sports podcast as far as a prediction but um anything you're looking forward to is this your first time playing at Jerry World at um, Cowboy Stadium. Anything you looking forward to for that game? Getting the dub. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time playing there. Like, this is my right. first time ever playing in the NFL stadium. Oh, I've nice. never been like part of no championship. Big play out like high school. I only been for the second round play. I never seen the third. None of it. So it's like all this. I'm soaking all this in. Nice, nice. So with um, Josh, as far as you at DB, uh-huh. um, like I say, I, I see you play, but I don't like focus in on if you're traveling with certain wide receivers or if you're more of a right side, do left that. side guy. We ain't got to do that. Because everybody locked down. Huh? Yeah. When but that, that'd be like, that's the goal, though. If you got two, like two always better than one, but you know what I'm yeah. saying? You, it really don't matter. Like I don't be tripping. Sometimes they let um a Trey follow somebody. I don't be tripping. Like I'm gonna get my turn. Like yeah. make sure I handle mine. Cause at the end of the day, like you can't control. Like you know what I'm saying? That ain't yeah. your call. You just keep handling your business. Keep handling your business, and then it'll come when it's supposed to come. Like if it's bro time, it's bro time. Like I ain't no, I ain't trying to steal nobody's shine. I'm just trying to get mine. Cause there's enough money out here for everybody. Yeah, facts. Uh, it's big facts. Jamoy, do you like blitzing the quarterback more or you like playing off in zone and coverage? Uh, blitzing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a feeling you was going to say that linebackers, any, most linebackers I've talked to said that they like going forward. You know, it's no slowing down. As soon as the ball is uh, snapped, they just take off. So, yeah. But that's how it got to be. That's how the good ones is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. So, do you enjoy playing inside or outside more as far as linebacker position? I only play inside. I play Mike, so I'm always in the middle of the trenches. Okay. That's what's up, man. But, yeah, shout out to TCU, man. Shout out to to the coach, man. They out there doing their thing. Sonny Dykes. Once again, you can catch him on ABC Saturday, Big 12 Championship versus Kansas State. Um, anybody in the chat, if you got any more questions for them, you better hurry up and bring them on in here because I'm not going to hold these guys long. I want them to be able to enjoy their evening because it sounds like they don't get too much, you know, free time. It's always, you know, we got to we gotta work. We got to be focused. Um, yeah. As far as fan watching, is that a, a all-week thing with you guys? Yeah, every day. Definitely. Every day. So how many hours a week do you think you guys – put in as far as watching film oh oh yeah. i just yeah um, i mean it's a lot though yeah it's more than five way more than five 
Mm. A total? Like yeah. hours? Yeah, more more than five hours. Yeah, that's why I said it's way more than five. I, mean, I try to take my time. Like I'm I'm getting I'm I got I'm practicing way, way more patient than just like sitting there and trying to dissect it, you know what I'm saying, instead of just click, 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 click through it. Yeah, yeah. Just try to like, okay, well, I'm just try to slow myself down, just just a more of like a chat of myself type thing. And then over time, you know what I'm saying, it'll, you know what I'm saying, make the game slow down. That's how you slow the game down. Well, you can understand it. So you can't okay. depend on the coach if you want to be a playmaker. Playmakers understand the game. Nice, nice. So speaking of the game slowing down, how long did it take? For it to slow down for you with making that transition to DB from wide receiver. Uh, <clears throat> I'd probably say last season. It just, okay. you know, what I'm saying, just, but now it's just everything. Like here, it's just on the bigger scale. That's it. Nice, nice. Uh, Jamoy, did you play any other position before linebacker? Maybe in high school or anything like that. <laughs> I played linebacker my whole life. Ah, uh, so you just you came in prepared for that position straight up. Yeah, I've been playing football since I was four. And I've been playing linebacker my whole life. Nice, nice. Um, I know you said your favorite team, the Eagles. I don't remember if Josh told me. Josh, who is your favorite NFL team if you got one? I don't have one. I just like players. Okay, so you got uh who's your favorite player? Favorite NFL player right now? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's not. It's, it's, it's. I can't, I really can't say who my favorite NFL player is, but I watch a lot of guys, though. Yeah. Cause I'm, I, when I watch NFL, I'm more of like trying to get tips and corners and see what he did against this type of receivers, like more like deeper. I, don't, I ain't just like, just, uh, well, I want to say a fan. Like, I really be trying to study. Yeah. But right. I give you about, you talking about as far as DBs? Yeah, yeah. If you want to say DBs, that's however you want to spin it. Uh, I got some OGs in my list, though. But uh, Reeve is number one. Nice. Uh, uh, Charles Wilson. Uh, I'm putting all the greats first. Uh, who else? Charles uh, is low key. People say Dion the goat, and I agree, but Charles is right there with him, man. In my opinion. Yeah, facts. Uh, I watch Ed Reed. The goat of safeties. That's <laughs> just, even though I don't play safety, it's just. Like, I, I I had to throw Ray Lewis on there too, like just defense, like just how he lead, bro. Like, like, bro, like what? Like he on some way different, <laughs> right? Like, like he the type I try to get him, like, have a conversation with him and just have ask him about stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, man, that's that's you know what I'm saying. Stuff like that. Like, bro, LT man. too. Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence yeah, Taylor? You going way back on that one. That's what's up, man. So um what do you think about the Micah Parsons comparison to Lawrence Taylor? Have you watched enough of Micah to see if that's kind of true? Can, he, he can be as great as Michael, Michael Parsons wanna be. Yeah. Like he got the total control of that. Yeah. Like, nobody else does like as long as he don't let words mean nothing to him and keep doing what he doing. Yeah. People gonna be trying to compare it. You know what I'm saying? Next generation of him. Yep. Yeah. Right, that's what's uh, up, bro, man. Bro, he, got a, he got a high city, like he ain't even got a city, like he take. Don't nobody really got a city. It's like everybody take it to how they they wanna get. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. We got a couple of questions from the chat. Uh, one is asking, did you say uh, your degree plan? What is your degree plan? I'm graduating already. This was uh -huh. undergrad. I got my undergrad from UCLA. 
and then I'm getting my uh, master's in liberal arts. Nice, nice. My uh, criminal justice, but I'm doing music and stuff with all my plans. I'm I'm doing football. Okay, that's what's up, man. Um, so Rob on the go is asking when you made your decision to transfer, how was the process? And did you know where you want to go already? Well, he knew where he wanted to go, Rob, if he transferred there already. But how was the process of transferring? Well, I was kind of quick. Because I had, I had like, like two to like three weeks of school. Okay. And the only, I had only visited like I visited one school in December. I visited other two. Thank you, man. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah. SMU and TCU. SMU and TCU. Yeah. Oh, he talked about he meant like entering the portal. Yeah, you should have been specific because I was like, what you mean by that, Rob? But, uh, yeah, SMU is also on the come up, man. So shout out to them boys over there, man. I like seeing the local team get you, better. What'd you say? I said, Coach, thank you, thank you, yeah, yeah. So I mean, Coach Dykes is the truth, man. To to bring SMU up like he did, and to come to y'all in one season, had y'all undefeated. I mean, that's that's dope, man. So do your job. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, he seemed like he got y'all very focused, man. So well, that's good did. to hear. When you don't see your head coach blinking, bro, you play way more. Yeah. Like he's so even, like even kill, like, like we do it once. That mean we can do it again. We do it one time, and if you do it twice, you did it once. Right like, now we're doing it twice. Like, that's how you think, right? Like, yeah. Like, now, um, how long did it take him to? I, I guess win you guys over once he first entered the locker room. Did it take a while, or was it just day I one? I went there in January. The boy can speak for that. I got there. In uh. I said day one. We we already knew we had talent, bro. We we then we got a new culture change. Like we we bought in the first day, and the people that didn't buy in didn't want to. They left and transferred. Uh, man, so I know this probably don't affect you guys because um, you guys are juniors, but NCAA has announced that in 2024 they are expanding the playoffs to 12 teams. Yeah. See? Uh, any thoughts on that? Is that too much? Because I feel like it's too much. I think it should be eight. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, what it is now? Four. Uh, it's four now. Yeah, four. it's four now. I say, yeah, six or eight. Because I feel like what you get. They're going to buy past 10 to go 12. 12. Starting in 2024. Well, you know what I mean? Bro, it's like an NFL seat. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like in, in college football, once you get past the eight teams, those other teams, I don't feel like they can beat any of the top eight. It should be, you I got, think it should be the top eight. Well, regular season game. Yeah. Yep. And then you got the playoffs. Yeah. And the championship. You go there too. Bro, that's almost like 20 some games. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a trip. And I kind of had a feeling they was going to do that. Once the NIL, six, six. yeah. So that mean they must gonna do like an east, like west side or something like that. They got to, cause I'm thinking like you guys got the, you guys got the conference championship, and then what? what three rounds of playoffs? Yeah, man, the championship. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Rob, we said top 12. It's going to be the top 12 teams, bro. But um, that's that's crazy, man. I had a feeling they was going to do that once that NIL and all them deals start coming through where players could get paid and et cetera. I had a feeling they was going to expand it so they could make more money, too. And yeah. they're they not going to care about, you know, the players' health and things like that. Kind of like what the NFL, when they tried to go to, um, I believe it was 18 games before they agreed to 17. And NFL players like, man, that's too much, especially if you're not going to give us two bye weeks. So, yeah, like it's 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 a money thing with them 
uh i i am happy that it is expanding past four because i feel like it should be at least eight because there are eight you know great teams that could win it all like if you look at the thing now you got alabama tennessee these guys sitting out you got all these people that can make that can do damage along with y'all so uh it's it's crazy man but we'll see how they work out and also in 2024 we got the return of ncaa football the video game is that something you always want to be on a video game madden ncaa anything like that yeah everybody who want to play football want to be on there yeah yeah so uh ncaa was supposed to come out next year and they end up pushing it back another year so uh what are your thoughts about did you guys play ncaa 14 the last one that was out yeah i yeah. played it all almost all of them yeah it ain't the one that i ever missed yeah that that was my game bro and i'm i'm missing it when they said they pushed it back a year i got upset i ain't gonna lie to you because i was like come on man i'm tired of playing this madden ncaa i played ncaa over madden all oh, day okay. yeah, yeah. now part of the reason that they stopped doing it was because the players likeness and getting paid and all that was is that something that was important to y'all as players i don't live my life about, around it like yeah when they come they come but we already you already like you're already trying to get to the league where they pay you anyway so it's like don't let that don't be bought yeah that's why I don't be understanding about it. Like some players really just be going here because they get like, people put money in there. Yeah. It ain't really the right situation for them. Yeah. And see, I think that the players, yeah, they'll pick the school maybe because they got some money. But as far yeah. as being on a video game, I don't think any of the college players cared at all. They just was they was happy to be on the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I thought. That's what I was told from the you know some of the players back in the day you know when we was all coming up in college together they just wanted to be on the game and they took that away from them because of a money grab so uh yeah when it coming out in 2024 we'll most likely see you guys on the on the ea madden instead of the college man because i already know that once they see you you know once the scouts really start looking at y'all if they not already i'm sure they are that you guys will be there you know I, i've seen enough tape on you guys both of y'all got the talent and the skill to be there whenever you do decide to go that route if you do decide to go that route man so yeah it's definitely much respect to y'all it's much love to y'all man and good luck saturday bro appreciate it appreciate it i, I appreciate y'all coming through oh, yeah. uh we, what is it what time is it yeah we did good because i didn't i didn't want to hold y'all alone tonight i didn't want to hold y'all alone tonight so we got the questions in i'm gonna give the chat maybe like two minutes to see if y'all got any more questions in for the people that missed it live and want to come back and watch the replay like they normally do hey you won't be able to ask questions if you watch the replay but i appreciate y'all watching the replay because that that run them numbers up man if you're on youtube follow on youtube uh congratulations gentlemen keep doing great things on and off the field from mrs dope on you twitch sure thank you um let the people know where they can find you on um social media Uh, my IG is Jamoy dot Hodge J A M O I dot H O D G E. Gotcha. Fit bumper on F I G B U M P N R U N N underscore. Yeah, there you go, man. That's where you can find them guys at. If you yeah. missed it, um, I will put a link. Actually, I will put it in the description on YouTube. So if you missed the the spelling of their ig and you want to keep up with them i got you in the youtube i do all that once the live is done because it's kind of hard to do all that while you're running live on youtube and twitch and trying to keep up with everything at the same time but uh once again shout out to everybody for helping us get to 2000 on youtube and the ones the 6100 on twitch y'all already know what it is much love to y'all um dopecontent.com make sure you stay on dopecontent.com to stay up to date we are live on that as well for the people that's watching on dopecontent.com and uh yeah man we have all the video games streams we got all the sports streams for the wrestling people we got wrestling streams we do a wrestling podcast we do music so i'm a you know a professional drummer who's who's done my thing back in the day so every now and then i do some cover videos or whatever 
And then, like, I, I can't wait to hear what you got cooking up whenever you do get a chance to cook something up, um, yeah. Jamoy, because I know it's going to be dope, man. Shout out to my guy Cash once again for setting this up for me, man. I hope you guys, you guys are welcome anytime, man, to yeah. come on, do whatever you want to do. Y'all can hit me up anytime. It, it doesn't matter, man. Like, however you want to do it. I'm 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 open book. Once you come help me out, we're family. That's how I look for at sure. it. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and anybody that's family with cash, you family with me all the magla, dog. That's that's just one of the best guys I've ever met in life, man. The most genuine guy that I've ever met. Uh, Rob said TCU by twenty four. <laughs> you go put that energy out there, Rob. You did. There you go. So I already picked you guys. So you know, I already know what you could do. I've seen it. I'm giving you guys respect. And that's what the podcast is for to give you guys respect man yeah on youtube share the video share the replay on twitch on twitter etc so we can get these views in if you're on youtube do the super chats if you're on twitch do the you know the bits or whatever you want to call it on twitch keep subbing keep joining man we go keep growing we got he had jay leon love last week now we got two defensive stars for tcu man so we steady going we're working on Antonio Tarver and Roy Jones next. So y'all be on the lookout. You boxing fans, we're working on them. Those two next. Uh, me and Tarver have been talking a little bit. Roy hasn't responded yet. I know I'm shooting for the stars here, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Closed mouths don't get fed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. D-Web D said TCU by 30. Y'all y'all adding that point. Div hey, they can do it. Defense can shut them down. But I'm a, I ain't going to put no extra pressure on them. <laughs> I know what they can do. Y'all just watch the game, man. Anything y'all want to shout out or promote before I let you go? Uh, shout out to all the lawyer. Ah. You got anybody? Anything you want to shout out? Yeah, I just say shout out to the fam and uh, everybody that's been supporting us this year. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yo, is there you go, man. Uh, poetic beauty, here you come, coming in 50 minutes late again. Always coming in late, but you're here, so shout out to you, poetic beauty. You can watch the replay because we're about to let these guys go. I'm not the type that want to keep people all night, man. So, shout out to you guys again, man. And until next time, man, y'all be safe. And we are sure. appreciate out. it, appreciate it, out. yes, sir, man. 